Hey, what's up guys? This is King Vox, and today I'm going to be making a video to help newer players into Division 2. Now, I see a lot of information out there and a lot of people recommending people to do nothing but main stories and main missions until they can't anymore and then start doing side missions. I want to tell you right now, you don't want to do that. That's going to really ruin your experience in the game. It's going to stop you from having fun. It really sucks to get stuck somewhere and have to backtrack and this is what they want you to do they want you to literally keep doing nothing but your main story and then once your main story gets too hard to go back to old areas and kind of do side missions um how about you just eliminate that altogether and just do everything like literally like side missions are kind of like main missions as well because they do unlock features of the game they kind of help you learn what's going on they keep you intact with the story as well and i wish i would have known that when i started off because i did nothing but main missions and what happened was i ended up being like three three to four levels behind the actual um the npcs so the game was a nightmare for me and it was no longer fun and now I decided, you know, oh, I'm just going to do everything and everything has been great. I've been getting decent loot. I've been just like being able to do everything I want to do. I don't have to wait for a team. I'm not getting frustrated dying like 14 times in a single mission anymore. It's just really fun. The game seems like it has an endless amount of content to keep you just entertained. I mean, just going to main missions, you run into so much stuff that you just like you'll never be able to complete it all like it literally feels like that and that's not a bad feeling that's a really good feeling so now i'm gonna give you guys some recommendations on some weapons that i've been using and i have a this weapon sucks i don't i don't know i don't use this weapon but here's the cool thing about this game they throw a ton of weapons at you you know you're gonna start off getting white weapons and stuff like that they're gonna upgrade you're gonna start getting green ones and then blue ones and then eventually purple and yellow and stuff like that i haven't really gotten to that point yet but I'm going to give you guys some advice on weapons or whatever that I think are really good. The FAL, the FAL, or whatever, is a really great gun, followed behind the um, AKM. The AKM is probably one of the best weapons that I've used so far in the game. So as soon as you get this weapon, just grab it, equip it. Um, the Black Market T8. 21 any of like the mac 11s or mac 10 looking weapons are really good they reload really fast so and like inside buildings or whatever these things just rip mobs apart like you can just hide and cover and just spray and things just absolutely die um as far as these other weapons i mean it's really whatever you you like um but i'm just gonna say once i got like the akm and the mac 11 and stuff like that like early on it was one of those weapons where I was just like, I really don't need another weapon because these weapons are so strong and so good. Things like the UG is all right as well, but it has a, the one that I have has a really retarded ass. Let me see if I can, do I have it on right now? I do. But you can see when I, say if you're aiming at something, a hit or something, it just, it just completely goes crazy. Where this thing, so you can pretty much stay on your target and just really light them up really nicely and i'll actually show you guys here so as you can see it, it just picks things apart and then i'll use this one as you can see this one is hard look at that so it's like you want to aim like over here and it, it is, it, it'll just fly over there and it's just the recoil is just way too ridiculous on this one. I'm not sure if all Uggs are like that, but the one that I'm using definitely is. So the AK Mini is definitely a really good one. Um, but like I said, don't fall into that whole trap of doing nothing but main missions. Do everything. Just really enjoy the game and you get so much loot from doing stuff like side missions and stuff like that. And I don't think the game lacks content to where you need to prioritize what missions that you do. So I advise just doing all of them and just really enjoying the game. And that's what really is keeping me into the game. Um, now, mind you, I am only level, let me see. I think I'm like level 13. Yeah, so I'm level 13. So this is a new player perspective as well, whatever. But this is someone that's very observant and 
kind of like understand how things work in games okay i've been playing these things for such a long time and this doesn't seem like the game that you have to prioritize doing a certain quest before another quest are saving quests it just seems like they have a lot of content and it's a full game so definitely don't fall into that trap like i did and you you'll probably have a lot more fun than i had because i got to a point where when the mobs are like three levels above you or two levels above you and you go to like certain areas to do like you know try to do a main quest and you just get shit on over and over again that's not fun so other advice i want to give to new players is the whole idea of like camping and stuff like that um the npcs in this game make it really hard to camp so the best thing you always want to do is just be aware of your surroundings and i know that may seem like trivial it's like oh yeah duh but say like if there's a group right there or something like that you want to check out every bit of all this shit behind you because if there is something like a ramp here or whatever say like you're fighting a group right there i'm telling you they will come from back there they will come from over there they will come from down there you definitely want to cover your back and just i kind of like move forward in a circle position so like say if i was fighting them right there i would be fighting them right and then i would just like work my way kind of like not closer to them but try to make it so it's hard for them to flank you because i'm telling you that's like literally what they're programmed to do they are flanking machines they will literally like some mobs don't even care like they they'll do things that aren't normal things that actual players do because players think that you know other players are kind of stupid you get what i'm saying so they'll be like oh i'm just gonna run i'm just gonna straight up beeline over here and it's like we can see you doing it and they don't care the npcs don't care they'll still do it they'll be like they'll run right behind you so say let me, let me explain this <laughs> a little bit better so say you're flanking behind this car right a uh, npc will do some dumb shit like this <laughs> You you really have to pay attention and shoot the shit out of them because if you don't and you let them flink you like this, you deserve you deserve or whatever to respawn. I'm just gonna say that you deserve to respawn because they do do something. You flanking here, NPC will run all the way around there, right? To this spot right here. Like this is how hardcore they try to flink you. And it's, it's obvious, but the thing is, you get overwhelmed because you're too busy tunnel vision into the rest of the group, and then you have this dude that gets flanked you and just wrecks you, and it's pretty funny. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this video are skills. Now, I was tricked into getting skills that I didn't necessarily like, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I got the Hive, which is a really cool healing component, but it, it's use early game is, is like a joke, okay? The second thing I got was a turret. Turrets aren't necessarily too good because this is what they do. I don't know if it'll show like a little video. Let me see. Okay, it's not gonna show the video, but what they do is when you throw them out, they you have to throw them in aggro range. So if say if there's a mob here at this, right? And I'm throwing from back here. If the mob runs out of the red, from where I throw the turret, it won't go off. So it'll just sit there and not shoot or do anything. So turrets, I was recommended to get a turret or whatever to like do suppression fire, stuff like that. I'm not recommending that to you guys. I tried it, it did not work, it was terrible. What's a good idea is the attack drone is the best. It is the best for low levels anyway. Like I said, I'm level 13, so this is for low level players. You're gonna be 13. There's no way you're gonna like blow past 13 in one day. Maybe, maybe you will. I don't know. Okay, but say this drone right here, this drone is going to allow you to throw it out when you're in cover. You don't need any mobs next to it. And when you find a mob, you can actually mark them and the drone will just go to them. So you don't have to worry about setting up any type of situation. You can throw this drone out while you're hiding and undercover and then send it after whoever you want. And also, um, it puts a little thing above their um, character, like a uh, left click or whatever. And that's how you send a drone. But what I'm seeing is it allows you to see mobs that are hidden. So see that guy right there, boom. It's a right click, my bad. So I didn't see that guy. But my drone did see it. So another guy's right there. See, you can just send a drone anywhere you want. 
send it after that guy. And look at this. Look at this. Look at I just got flanked. I just told you guys not to do this. And that's exactly what I just walked into. So another thing is this shield. This shield is so crazy because times you're going to find yourself where you can't get cover. You just like, oh my goodness, there's no cover around. I'm about to show you guys this in a second. So no cover. Boom. Reflection shield. Nothing this guy can do. If they shoot, they literally kill themselves. Look. Look at this. Look at all this damage is reflecting back. She literally has the run. Coming back over here. And you can shoot at the same time, which is great. Look, he's, she's running because she knows. Oh, he's running. My bad. <laughs> Boom. Put the shield away. Still got, it still can use the shield anytime I want. Anytime I get like caught in like some real trouble, but I just killed all of them. And it's things like that. The second thing that I have, that I got, I'll show you guys actually. But I didn't get the shield. I got the turret and the hive. And I'm telling you, if I would have had the shield, the shield is really good. And the drone starting out, it things would have been so much better. Because at low levels, they're so powerful. The drone doesn't do a lot of damage, but it distracts the hell out of the whole team. So you can almost walk out into the open and kill them all. Right? So then you have shield. You have... A bunch of different shields but i like this one the best um this is a deflect shield i'm telling you guys this thing is probably the best shield i don't know i haven't tried the other ones but i'm telling you this shield right here you can go in the middle of mobs like you can be stuck in a really hairy situation and you pull it out and they all kill their self and it doesn't it's not like it only reflects towards the mob that's shooting you say the mob say if there's a melee mob running up on you and there's a ranged mob shooting at you the shield will actually mess up the melee mob it's just whoever is closest or whatever gets gets hit with a beret of bullets and it, it even does like mid to long range um i wouldn't try your luck messing around with a sniper or something like that but the shield is definitely really good and i definitely recommend it for new players because when you find yourself in a situation like this and you're surrounded by a crap load of mobs and you can see there's not really a lot well i guess there is a lot you can run but like instead of doing that you can go like this and back up undercover and it's just really good so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you can get notified of new videos. If this video helps you add...